Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for Precious Remembrance Shop. I am their guest designer for the month of July and I got sent two stamp sets and I also already have a couple I guest designed for them last year and I've also bought, an, or bought a couple stamps um, from them as well. So I pulled out three of their stamps, two of the ones that she sent me and then one from my stash and I am going to be playing with them today on this layout. So I have a, well, two pictures of Emily and one of my besties, Amanda Curbs. And she came, or well, I had some friends over and this was just pictures of them um, sitting on the couch. Emily was showing her one of her favorite games that she plays on the Nintendo Switch. And <laughs> um, for me, uh, Emily doesn't have any aunts and uncles that are in her life. Um, she has got an uncle that lives in Ohio that she sees every once in a while. Um, but her other, she's got an aunt and she's got another uncle, but they're just not, they're not in her life. So she doesn't really have that like family, that familyness, I guess. That I always had I always had aunts and uncles and cousins and everybody around um, and she doesn't have that but um, I feel like she's getting that at least aunt kind of thing from some of my friends and curbs is one of them um, that she I feel like she gets that from when she's around so it's nice and these pictures were ju I just kind of took some snapshots and so I just wanted to document these little photos so the first stamp that I used was from the Everyday stamp set, and it's these really, really pretty little sketched hearts. And I did them just kind of along the side of the photos. And I used my Memory Misty. Y'all, I love this thing. <laughs> I stamped them twice, I double stamped. And I'm using my Catherine Puller inks, of course, because they are my favorite. Um, and so now I am matting the photos. I'm keeping the photos together. So I did print them together on one four by six um, piece of photo paper and I'm going to keep them together. Sometimes I separate them, but for this one, I just feel like it looks okay together. Um, and I'm going to do this little fishtail banner. I actually somewhat followed a sketch um, from one of my previous sketches that I've made. I don't even know who it was for. I can't remember if it was in my sketchbook or what. I'm not, honestly, I don't remember, but I did use one of my sketches to kind of loosely follow. Um, and then I took this stamp from the Little Things stamp set. It says, too cute on the heart. And it's just got little, um, like, drawn circles kind of around it and so I just fussy cut that out um, and used it as an embellishment for my layout. Um, I also did cut the banner around the photos. I just really like the way that looks and I really was going to try super hard to use some chipboard stickers from some of my older chipboard sticker sheets it just wasn't working. Y'all, I really do have a hard time using those things. Um, I'm more of a just plain old sticker girl. Um, give me some dimensional tape or foam dots or whatever. And I just like it better than super, super thick chipboard. So when I talk about the super, super thick chipboard, I'm talking about the 12 by 12 chipboard sticker sheets like that crepe paper makes. Um, mostly crepe paper, I think, are the ones that I have that I'm struggling with using up. I have used quite a bit of them, but they're still just these little, you know, most of them are the bigger pieces that I just really struggle with using um, because I want my focus most of the time, you know, sometimes I go a little crazy on my layouts, but for the most part, I want the focus to be on the photos um, on the scrapbook page. So I am popping that up on some foam tape um, just to give it a little bit of dimension because I really, really like the way that looks when I um, do that with the photos. That's just something that I almost do, almost, I would say 90% of my layouts, my photos are popped up on some kind of foam. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So because the photos are popped up on foam, this little um, floral piece that I'm going to be using here um, needs to also be popped up on the part that's hanging off of the photos. So um, that is what I'm doing. And then the little stamped thing that I stamped, <laughs> the little embellishment that I stamped here that says too cute, I just put it right in the center of those flowers. So it kind of just looks like the flowers are coming um, from behind it. And I really like the way that, that looks. So now I am going to pull out, <clears throat> let's see, which stamp set am I gonna pull out? I'm going to pull out the stamp set that I had in my stash and it's called Positive Thoughts. And y'all, this is one of my very, very favorite stamp sets that I've had like in my stash. And if you have watched my um, Memory Misty and Wreath Builder video, I will link it up above here so you guys can check it out if you haven't. I used this stamp set on a card that I created. And I just love this stamp set. There's really so many great stamps. And the one that I just used says Cherish Every Moment. And I used my Catherine Puller Blackjack ink, which is a really nice dark gray. And I just feel like it goes with this so well. Okay, so the papers that I used are from Close to My Heart. And they've been in my stash for a while. It was just like a, what was it? Like a small paper pack, I think. And so I kind of started there and then I pulled the stickers from an old sticker sheet that I had um, from Simple Stories and I felt like they went well together. So that's what I did. So these little zigzag stitches, um, this is a stamp from the Positive Thoughts stamp set and how adorable is it? I freaking love it. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, these stamps are perfect because there's several different stitches and you can get different looks. Um, for me, I just wanted to add a little bit of interest to the corners here. So I'm going to do um, some stamping and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so uh, from that Positive Thought stamp set, I'm also going to pull that heart, which you can tell here it's stained. It's well loved. I use this heart all the time. It's just one of those like perfect shaped hearts. I love the shape of it. Um, I, I'm not the I'm not huge on the like perfectly round um, hearts when I'm stamping hearts. These are the kind of hearts that I like. Um, this is actually how I draw my heart, so uh, I like the way that it looks. Um, so now I'm going to pull out this, I think it's Juniper Mist, yes, and Catherine Puller, and I'm going to double stamp it, and it, you know, it wasn't perfect, but it lined up pretty well, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the top. Um, my ink pads need to be <laughs> um, re-inked, some of them, especially this one, because this is one of my favorite ink pads, and make sure you clean your stamps off, and so now I'm going to pull out um, some little hearts, I think, maybe not, nope, butterfly sticker, um, a couple butterfly stickers, and this one I'm going to have to put a little bit of foam tape behind it as well, um, because the flower there is on foam tape, so you don't want it to mush down and look strange. Um, so I'm going to pull a couple of these stickers, again, I'm trying to use up this sticker sheet, it's really old, and it's been in my stash for a while, so I'm going to pull some of the hearts, and just kind of layer them over top of the stamp part and then this little heart right here and i'm going to um use this border strip i don't know i don't know what made me think about it um but i wanted to pull it and just put it alongside the banner and i like the way that that looks it just adds something extra i felt like the heart that was hanging off there um the pink heart was getting lost so i think that's why i thought to put that behind it because it's darker and it adds contrast these stickers are from i think i think one canoe two or jen hatfield i can't remember to be honest um but that sticker says today is a good day um and then the very last thing is the title <coughs> excuse me I am going to struggle here for a minute with a title, but I'm going to use Grateful Heart because 
I am grateful for my friends that I have in my life. Um, and I'm grateful that they are, you know, building a relationship with Emily. Um, Amanda here in this photo, she brought, she came for the weekend and she brought a dessert that she could make with Emily. And she knew that Emily would have fun doing that. And it's just little things like that, that make me really grateful and super, super happy that they are not only in my life, but that they're in Emily's life as well. And it just makes me, it makes my heart happy. <coughs> Excuse me again. So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Don't forget, I will have Precious Remembrance Shop linked below in the description so you guys can get your hands on these amazing stamp sets. And don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.